Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Crosstown Auto Center's Used Car Superstore. My name is Matt and today we're going to take a look at the 2012 Ram 1500 Laramie Longhorn in pitch black. This is just a beast of a truck. You got the crew cab as well as the uh, 5 foot 7 box and the Ram management system which is really cool. We'll get to that in a little bit. Under the hood here, we got the 5.7 Hemi V8. Gives you that just incredible performance along with, and, and is no slouch when it comes to fuel economy. You got the chrome front end there and the tow hooks looking fantastic. Oh, what a great looking truck. Looks so nice in that sun. Coming down to the tires, we will be riding on Wrangler 20 inch mud and snow tires. Tread still in great shape. You got the, uh, the beautiful chrome rims there. Steel, uh, sorry, disc brakes in all four tires. Your mud flaps as well to keep it tidy. You got your running boards. Great for giving yourself a little step up. And here we do have the breakaway side view mirror. Got your indicator there as well as your defrost and your concave trailer mirror. Now check this out. I'm gonna switch hands here. Boom, oh, so took on my camera there. It does pop up like that, so you can really see into the sides when you are, uh, when you are towing anything. All four windows do roll down all the way. You have some great tinting in the back, but you know what? It's awesome to look at. It's even more fun to drive. So let's take a hop in that, in that driver's seat and play with some buttons. All right, and helping you into your Ram 1500 Laramie Longhorn, you do have this nice keyless entry here. Uh, so you got your panic button. You can press once to unlock all the doors. And as well, this is a one-way remote start. Unfortunately, we do have too low of fuel for it to, uh, to start up. But, uh, I mean, that's good. That way you can't walk out and find a empty truck on your driveway right so we're gonna go ahead and open this up got those nice chrome accents I forgot to mention oh yeah looking good so got your front panel here you got the two-tone color just looks oh, it's so classy that's what it is it's classy so you got your power locks windows and your mirrors nice little storage there as well as some storage down here you got spot for a water bottle and a cup uh, cup holder there as well. Um, on the inside, you do have that leather, leather interior, and uh, on the seats, you have this like just wicked stitching. Oh, looking so good. So, coming down here, we got our electric uh, seat adjusters so we can, you know, move that chair back and all that jazz. And as well, it does have the memory setting so we can push that and watch it do its thing. It's gonna come up and I believe it it does keep the radio station that you set it with as well uh, so that's really cool too um, just on the left side you have your directional vents got that all throughout the front you have your uh, automatic headlights so you can set it and forget it and your dimmer switch for your display gonna hop in here now very easy to get up into the trunk that is um, so, here you got your dashboard. We're gonna get that key out and uh, give it a start. I'm just gonna switch hands here. Here we go, so adjusting like that. And we're gonna start it up. Ooh, grr, that's what it just said. So, on your display here, you do have 78,854 kilometers um, you may still have some factory warranty, but just make sure you double check with your product specialist, find out what balance of warranty you, you do have, as well as what extra warranty options that we, we do have. Um, yeah, so, so we're going to go through the menu there using these buttons on the steering wheel. So you get your fuel economy, you can go into that. Get your tire pressure, vehicle info is really cool, you can see the temperature of your, all your fluids, uh, I believe as well, yeah, how many hours the engine has been on your trailer brakes and all that look at that no trailer attached wouldn't that be a deal though so pulling out of there you do got your leather wrap steering wheel 
it's got that nice little stitching accent there um, yeah and I believe it is actually it is heated as well great for those winters and your cold hands so you got your voice recognition system so you can make those hands-free phone calls so we're gonna push that cancel wonderful very prompt and you do have your uh, cruise control here so on the backs of the steering wheel very sneaky sneaky you got uh, some buttons you can change the radio station there and as well on the right side and change the volume fancy no dresses a little bit of Rachel day shout out that's what she does she's cool <laughs> anyway coming over to your radio center here um, you do have your CD player opens up just like that and put your DVD in there for the entertainment system in the back it's so cool it's all sciencey uh, here you have your radio station you got your AM FM and your let's go let's go satellite radio uh, so cool love the little touch screen there and the little map shows on the side uh, volume here that you can use if you like the the knob get your voice recognition up here uh, your menu your navigation system you got your USB here that you pop up pop out like that awesome and your auxiliary input there so just a bit lower you got your hazard lights your outlet in the back that you can send power to as well as your park assist you can turn off which I'll, uh, I'll explain what that is in a minute here you have your tow and haul and your traction control there you got your dual zone climate control so you and your passenger can be can be happy with your fan the digital display there moving down even farther you got your buttons for your heated seats I'm gonna try air conditioned seats because I've never tried those but hopefully you know cool the butt down a bit and I love that that like the, the texture there that design that looks so cool um so here you do have a nice storage space there oh here is your 115 volt outlet plug-in laptops stuff like that cup holders uh, that's extra uh, you do have your 12 volt outlet there and as well as your automatic transmission so we're just gonna go ahead pop that in the park and you do have your backup camera which is awesome and that also comes with the park assist so when you are backing up there are sensors in the back that will uh, will start dinging and the dinging will go faster the closer you get to it and I'll actually display a little like sonar wave image <laughs> it's the best I can describe it and uh, it shows you kind of where on the car you are getting close to something but we'll put that back in the park don't want to go on a little trip right so get your middle con center console oh boy okay <laughs> one too many levers center console uh, your first level you got the shallow the shallow storage you have your uh, DC outlet there Ugh. and uh, yeah very very awesome and let's try this again <laughs> and your your second level uh, so this one is very deep which is just fantastic you can put a lot of stuff in there it's got a little liner that you can take out and clean close that so up on the roof here the reindeer paws oh bad joke I'm sorry so you have your uh, your garage openers there you got this button which opens the back perfecto and you do have this uh, nice little powered venting and, and uh, yeah sliding uh, sunroof jeepers that beautiful blue sky just amazing right well that is the front seat it is lots of fun but you know let's go see what your uh, passengers have to put up with all right coming in the back seat here you can see that the uh, the door does open very wide giving you that very easy access into the back again the same two tones as the front seat keeping that consistency power windows storage areas looking great 
Come on the inside. These are really cool. Uh, your mat pockets on the back of the seats have these little buckles, and they're uh, they're actually magnetic. Is how they they clip on there. So easy to open. Not fumbling with the buckles, which is great. Got those all season floor mats that go great with the interior. In the middle, you do have your your vents there, heated seats in the back, as well as your 12 volt DC outlet. And here you can set up uh, your audio video inputs to uh, maybe hook up a gaming console up. <laughs> Let me just hop inside here quick. Up into the DVD player that does have a remote as well. And the cool thing is that, you know, you don't want to get distracted while you're driving. So under here in this nifty little storage spot, Oh, I lied. Anyway, you do have these storage areas here. Uh, they are very deep. You have one on the other side as well. Sorry, this is a nifty part. Under here, in this storage area, you got your uh, your wireless headsets. So, you know, not everybody has to listen to, to whatever people are watching back here. So we'll close that, bring that back down. And here, get your, your cup holder armrests. Fantastic. And again, that wonderful detailing on the leather seats. Looking fantastic. But we'll lift that back up. And very easy to do. I'm doing this all with one hand. Right? It's amazing. So here on the box, it is five, uh, five foot seven box. You do have the RAM management storage. So you just push that in, open that up. And uh, you got this deep storage area, great for tools. I've seen pictures where they they fill this with ice and put uh, beverages inside it. And if you lock a baby in there, they can get out with the glow in the dark. Uh, emergency handle there. Uh, definitely do not recommend doing that though. So here is your backup camera and as well these little black circles that's the park sense that detects you know gives you that that audible signal here you got your your four pin and your seven excellent spot for a hitch and again these chrome finishes looking awesome so we're gonna bring this down you do have the uh, the lining uh, in the bed in the the spray lining in the bed there keeps it, you know, safe from scratches and dents and all that. I got the tonneau cover, which is a nice little addition. And as well, this is a little difficult to do with one hand, but it is just that little cage that goes, oh wow, I did it. It's upside down, but you get the point. It just gives you that extra bit of space to stow stuff. Uh, without worrying about it, you know, stuff falling out. But always make sure you tie down everything. And again, push that in. You got that storage. Awesome. Coming over into the side. Uh, we can lift this up. Now you have a lot of storage space in the cabin as well. And we're gonna pop this up. You got your big speaker. It's under the seat. You get that uh, bass in the butt. It's the only way to listen to music, I swear. And uh, another storage space under the mat there. And again, that two-tone, just looking, looking classy. And on the inside here, you do have your glove box. Open that up. Perfect. You do have a USB port in there as well. And just down here, owner's manual, all that, all that good stuff. And just a great looking car. You get your side storage. Oh, this is cool. Check this out. We give this little pull, and you do have space for your jack down there easy easy to take out easy to put back in excellent well thank you so much for 
trekking through this 2012 Ram 1500 Laramie Longhorn. It's got a big name for a big truck. So if you do have any questions or you'd like to book a test drive or just a call or a click, that's all. Uh, my name is Matt here at Crosstown Auto Center's Used Car Superstore, and we'll see you later. Go Hoilers! Woo!